Get your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free. After you have added a form field of any type to a form, you can double click the form to open its associated properties dialog box. You can then use the tabs that appear within this dialog box to set the appearance and functionality of the selected form field. You can then click the close button within the dialog box to apply the settings. In this lesson you will learn how to set the properties on the actions tab within this dialog box. These settings are universally shared amongst all of the different types of form fields and buttons available. You can add an action to any form object, although they are most often associated with button clicks in a form. Click the Actions tab to set the actions that occur when a user interacts with a selected form field. Click the Select Trigger drop-down menu to choose the interactive event that makes the associated action happen. The mouse up event is used to associate an action with the release of a mouse button after a user clicks the form field. Mouse down is also used for that same purpose, but is triggered by the downward clicking of the mouse button versus the release of the mouse button. You can also associate actions with rolling over the form field by choosing the mouse enter and mouse exit events. You can choose the on focus and on blur events to associate an action with the event of gaining or losing the focus of the application. After choosing the triggering event, use the Select Action drop-down menu to choose the action that occurs when that event is triggered. After you select an action from the Select Action drop-down in the Add an Action section, click the Add button. Depending on the action selected, an additional dialog box will open and prompt you to specify additional settings for the selected action. After entering any required information, click the OK button. Note that your selection has been added to the Actions section in the Actions tab. If programming multiple actions, you can select an action in this list and then click the up and down buttons to reorder the list of actions. You can also click the edit button to reopen the dialog box associated with the selected action, or you can click the delete button to delete a selected action. Like what you see? Pick up your free copy of the complete tutorial at www.teachucomp.com forward slash free.